Hi, this is Dee from dmiddleton.com. Welcome to the year-long Thorough Declutter series. We declutter 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Did you know U.S. consumers buy 40% of the world's toys, but they are only 3% of the world's children? Most people wear 20% of their clothing 80% of the time. People do not look at 80% of the papers and information they keep. The U.S. Department of Energy reports that one quarter of people with two car garages have so much stuff in there that they can't park a car. According to the National Soap and Detergent Association, getting rid of clutter would eliminate 40% of the housework in the average home. 9.4% of U.S. households rent a storage unit. Messy homes and workspaces leave us feeling anxious, helpless, and overwhelmed. Yet rarely is clutter recognized as a significant source of stress in our lives. Clutter distracts us by drawing our attention away from what our focus should be on. Clutter makes it more difficult to relax, both physically and mentally. Clutter constantly signals to our brains that our work is never done. In the workspace or the home office, clutter inhibits creativity and productivity by invading the open spaces that allow most people to think, brainstorm, and problem solve. Clutter also creates feelings of guilt and embarrassment, especially when others unexpectedly drop by our homes or workspaces. Clutter makes us anxious because we're never sure what it's going to take to get through to the bottom of the pile. Clutter can make us feel stressed, anxious, and depressed. Research found that the levels of the stress hormone cortisol were higher in mothers whose home environment was cluttered. Now let's look at some of the benefits of decluttering. Number one, less stuff equals less to clean and keep organized. Number two, more appreciation for what you have. If you have minimal belongings, you'll care for them differently than if you had plenty at your disposal. Number three, less chaos and stress. Minimalism has the benefit of lots of empty space, or in other words, more breathing room. Number four, more money you keep. If you cherish and care for what you already have, you'll find you spend less and keep more of your hard-earned cash. Number five, mental clarity and more energy. You get to do more of the things you love if you aren't constantly working to clean and care for a large amount of possessions. Number six, an added benefit to decluttering is that you can bless someone else if you have good items that you need to rehome. Number seven, you'll shop more thoughtfully. You'll be more likely to only purchase what you really need if you are fully aware of what you already have. Like pulling weeds from your garden, you can appreciate the visual improvement your efforts created. It is gratifying to look over a job and feel a sense of accomplishment. Number eight, by decluttering your home, you're creating visual and actual peace. Have you ever completed a task that involved a huge visual improvement? Number nine, time. Think of all the time it takes you to do a huge declutter. You will gain that time back if you don't refill the space you cleared because it takes far less time to clean a space that is free from extra stuff. Number 10, more pleasant relationships with the ones you love who share your space. It is far easier to cuddle up with your little ones and read a book if the books are neatly organized and there's a clean spot to sit and snuggle. What if you could eliminate the clutter for good? I designed this year-long declutter series to help you slowly and permanently declutter your entire home. 
what you can expect. You will receive a daily declutter task for the specific room we are working on. We will move step by step through the process to declutter every room and space in your home. Currently, we are working on the living room. Your daily task for today, April 21st, 2022, is to declutter any items that belong elsewhere from your living room. A few guidelines. Number one, you'll declutter any broken items. Number two, get rid of items that you haven't used in a year. Number three, move misplaced items to their proper place. Now let's help look at how to declutter any room. Number one, only spend time on your specific daily task. Number two, do not get sidetracked or distracted. Number three, work within a time of day that you have the most energy and stamina. Listen to your body and work at decluttering when you feel the most alert and energized. Number four, avoid thinking too long about whether to keep or discard an item. This is one specific way you can be ruthless when decluttering. Number five, avoid cleaning during your declutter. Getting rid of clutter is the priority and cleaning can be accomplished later. Now let's look at some supplies you'll need for decluttering. Number one, boxes, preferably ones you could donate. I would avoid plastic storage bins because you may be tempted to just store the items and not part with them. Also, if you use good containers, it's going to take you longer to donate the items because you're thinking about trying to keep the container. So I recommend cardboard boxes that you can donate. Number two, you'll need sturdy trash bags. And number three, you'll need a marker or a pen to label your boxes. There are five easy steps to decluttering any room. Number one, you'll start by eliminating trash first. Grab a sturdy trash bag. Number two, you'll then sort items by category if needed, so you can see what you have. Number three, get rid of duplicate items, broken items, outgrown clothing and shoes, anything you'll never use again. Number four, Box up your donations and trash or recycle the rest. Number five, select a charity to donate your items and schedule a pickup if that is an option. A pickup works especially well for oversized items such as furniture or appliances. Many charities allow you to schedule a donation pickup online. Leave a comment below and let me know what you are decluttering today. Also, you can head over to the blog dmiddleton.com to subscribe and get your free homemaking ebook. You can also find my declutter printables and deep cleaning printables over at dmiddleton.com.